Hi everybody. Today we are going to see about ASP.NET validation controls. There are six types of validation controls available. Required field validator, range validator, compare validator, regular expression validator, custom validator and validation summary. The first one is required field validator. Required field validator is used whenever a control it should be filled with some data it should not be empty. In that case we can use required field validator. Here we will be assigning two properties one is the control to validate which is nothing but the text box or the label box etc. Any control you can give and the next one is the error message. Error message is nothing but the message which you will be displaying in case if that control is empty. Second one is range validator. Here we will be dealing with error message and we will be fixing a minimum value and a maximum value. So this range validation control acts when it violates the minimum value and the maximum value. So you will be giving three properties minimum value, maximum value and then the error message that is in case if you want to display or if you want to validate age. In that case for eligibility to vote it should be greater than 18. In that case you can give the minimum value as 18 and the maximum value is any value that is lesser than 100 or 200. So in that case we can use range validation control. Next validation control is the compare validator control. Here you will be having two values to compare. So we need two controls. One is the control to compare. Second one is the value to compare. So here you will be giving two IDs that is two text boxes and you can check whether two text boxes values are same. For example, if you want to use password and confirm password, in that case you can use password which will be having a data and then in confirm password the same value should be given as in the password control. In that case you can use this compare validator. Next is regular expression validator. This regular expression validator is used whenever you are going to deal with specific special characters. So here you can use any of the options available. Those options are called as meta characters. In the meta characters you can use a dot that is except this particular character any value should be there. Uh, a very good example for regular expression validator is checking with the email id. So whenever a particular user is going to fill up a email id there should be at and then a dot which is a must. So in that case you can use a regular expression validator. Next one is the custom validator. Custom validator is all the other options that is we have seen about require field validator, range validator and compare validator. So other than these validations in case if a user wants to customize a particular data in that case the particular user can use custom validation control. So here you have to call a validation function. And then the final thing available is the validation summary. Validation summary shows all the details of the error messages where we have used the validation controls. So this is an example for validation controls. Here you are having a text box which deals with the username and then a password, confirm password, age and email id. In this example we have used the validation controls for username that is username should not be empty, password, password should not be empty and we are having confirm password where you will be using compare validator for password and confirm password and then we are having the age limit as 20 to 50 where in that case you can use range validation and finally email id which deals with the regular expression validation and then the last one is the error message 1 and error message 2. This is nothing but the validation summary. So 
Likewise, you can use all the validation controls and you can create all the validations in your ASP websites. Thank you.